Ed Sheeran has announced he will quit music if this song... Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. Oh, he does a bit. And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. And I'm thinking about how <laughs> his fans have been a rip-off of this song. Come on, Very come on, sexy. it's about swing those hips. <laughs> <laughs> Sheeran made the declaration in a New York court where he's being sued over similarities between the two tracks. The singer says it's insulting to suggest he plagiarised the hit and to have his work diminished. If found guilty, he could be forced to pay $100 million in damages. Ouch. Well, I hope he keeps his promise and I hope he loses. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye to the oh, ginger so winger. Oh. He's not iconic, he's not MJ, oh, yeah, he's not Ozzy. Charity. He's just so bland. As you said, Isabel, he is from Mars. That's he what is he is. From he is from Mars. Yeah. You've oh. managed uh, Smashing Pumpkins, Black Sabbath, ELO. Motorhead. Motorhead. All right, yeah. show off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been in a situation where someone's come and said, hey, you've, you've plagiarised that track? Yes. Many, oh. many times, and I think it is degrading. It is demoralising for any artist. Sometimes, of course, it's so obvious, mm. but I don't hear it here, and no, I, I, I just think all. that it's monstrous that anybody should ask for a hundred billion yeah, for, it's, it's for just that. Great tax. Yeah, yeah. And I, it, it's you know, it has to stop sometime, does, somewhere. Does There's only twelve notes anybody can choose yeah. from. Right. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> of how many? Of course, there's going to be some parallels or yeah. some similarities. I mean, some, I, 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 I cannot hear that. I, no, I, I can't. Didn't. See Sharon, what the case in the there. musical fraternity, and <clears throat> I mean, musicians must be tearing their hair out about this. I mean, uh, we're making jokes about. Oh, I hope Ed Sheeran keeps his <laughs> promise. But actually, I'm right on his side here. Yes, I don't see the similarity too. between these two. I don't hear it. And by the way, he seems like a very nice guy and I hope he wins this case uh, and somehow or other surely musicians must feel that all these chances who keep launching these yeah. opportunist mm -hmm. legal actions must somehow be prevented because it's it's the it's, enemy of creativity it's, it's just, over yeah. and over again it happens with you know with songwriters it's, and, and it's unbelievable they, and do they get help uh, what, so what's annoying is that the, I mean I don't know how this works but the people who are challenging do they get do they get help? What happens if they lose? Do they? Do they have to pay costs? They have to they pay, have pay all the costs. Yes, they do. High, I mean, I guess it's quite so high stakes. Stake. But there are many, you know, there are music specialists and most record companies with huge artists like it, they they send it to these music people that say, yeah. no, it doesn't sound like anything else. It's free to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. anyway. but, but there are kind of archaeologists, musical archaeologists, who look for these, uh, the opportunist lawyers that get yes, in touch of with course. Yeah. musicians and say we could win this case. Yeah. By the way, if uh, Ed Sheeran, I hope he doesn't win the case, but it loses the case. But if he does, he, does win the case. Uh, he says he won't, he'll quit music. He won't be able to because he'll have $100 million. <laughs> to <laughs> he'll have to carry on singing. That's like <laughs> Worse <Leonard>. luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's poor old Lem Leonard Cohen having to work and work and work. <laughs>